A controversial film that could make you think twice about going to SeaWorld again opens tonight at the Tampa Theater. The documentary Blackfish about the capture, treatment, and behavior of killer whales, orcas, at SeaWorld has put marine parks around the country on the defensive. When you look into their eyes, you know somebody is home. Blackfish is at heart the story of a single animal, an orca named Tilikum, involved in the deaths of three people, including SeaWorld trainer Don Brancho. But it's an indictment of an entire industry. It sells a lot of Shamu dolls. It sells a lot of tickets at the gate. In the film opening Friday at the Tampa Theater, former SeaWorld employees describe the heartbreaking separation of calves from their families during whale roundups, harsh treatment the captive whales suffer from their keepers and other whales, and the dangers of interacting with highly intelligent animals in the tight confines of a tank. It is a, a strong piece of filmmaking. Uh, it is, it's not gotcha cinema like Michael Moore. You know, film critic Steve Persall believes some movies do have the power to change public opinion. Tom Hanks in Philadelphia humanized AIDS victims. Super Size Me made many people queasy about fast food. But Persall says the two top grossing documentaries of all time, Michael Moore's Fahrenheit 9-11, and last year's Obama's America 2016 failed in their ostensible mission. They were both intended to get somebody to lose an election, and neither one of them did it. That's pretty good proof right there that these things don't have as much impact as we might think they do, or as, as some people are afraid they might. That would come as a relief to SeaWorld, which has put out only a brief statement in response to Blackfish, saying in part, the film is inaccurate and misleading and regrettably exploits a tragedy that remains a source of deep pain for Don Brancho's family. Well, the Tampa Theater wanted to make it clear that their showing of Blackfish over the next two weeks is not an endorsement of the film or its message. If you miss it, though, CNN will be airing the documentary in full in late October.